Hi, welcome back to my channel. We'll be doing a peel off turmeric face mask. Um, so I'm gonna go right into it. First ingredient, it's some Elmer's glue. You'll need about 15 milliliters or one ounce, depending on if you're making it for you or for multiple people. I was making it for multiple people, so I have about an ounce of Elmer's glue right now that you can see me pouring into this clear bowl. Here I want to note that you definitely need a some type of brush, face brush, makeup brush, whatever for this mask. So get one of those. Next you'll add a one half teaspoon of turmeric powder. Um, turmeric is good for treating and reducing acne scars, hyperpigmentation, and breakouts. And it also calms the skin. need one drop of tea tree oil tea tree oil is good and for treating acne reducing acne scars um, which leads to smooth clear skin you'll also need one drop of geranium essential oil geranium reduces acne breakouts skin irritation and skin infections And last but not least, you'll need one drop of lavender essential oil. Lavender essential oil lessens acne, um, lightens dark spots, and reduces wrinkles. So, go lavender. And make sure you mix this in really, really well. Um, you don't want any chunks of the turmeric, uh, nor do you want the essential oils to be applied in a not even fashion. Um, so take your time, mix that up, get in there good, make sure it's all smooth, no clumps of that turmeric, and you in business. Well now, hey, let me bless y'all with my face. So when applying this mask, um, I applied it kind of heavy um, which was not a good idea. So try to apply it thinly so that it can dry. You shouldn't leave turmeric on for more than 20 minutes. And if your mask is too thick, um, the glue will not dry within those 20 minutes. So you'll end up having to wash it off like you'll see me do in just a little bit. So remember to apply it thinly, but, uh, equally across your skin so that it's a smooth mask to peel off thin layer I did not do thin I did kind of thick I laid it on thick do not do thick and because it was thick I had to sit in front of the fan um, so now you can see it didn't dry all the way in some spots the dry spots are really dark and easy to peel as you can see um, so just take my advice y'all do a thin layer don't do it too thick um, peeling it off is actually my favorite part of the mask. So I was kind of upset that it wasn't all the way dry because I had uh, applied it too thick. But I really love peeling off face masks. It's something about the way it feel pulling off of my face. But I don't know if that's just me being crazy or what. Because it didn't dry all the way, um, I will wash it off with a towel uh, just get a soft towel and wipe off the excess glue from your face um try not to press too hard because you don't want to like rip your skin or anything like that so that's what you see me doing wiping this glue off of my face after, after you get the uh, glue off of your face go ahead and wash your face whatever face soap of choice you have this little bar here is um, a Suzy Quills care bar of soap that will possibly be releasing uh, maybe next year I'm not sure when I'm going to release it but it is a soap bar that I created myself and that's what I use on my face and as you can see it is a nice little sud for your face um, guys do not ask me when the face bars will be coming out I am not sure I am still like making it and perfecting it so i want to test it out try it and make sure it works really good y'all know i only like to get y'all quality products okay so don't rush me all right
Okay, I would usually use like a face brush, but I wasn't doing all that. So I just wiped it off with my towel with some warm water. Just go ahead and wipe off the excess soap from your face. And make sure you get all of the soap off so that you just don't have soap left on your face. Uh, get it together, people. And um, after you're done rinsing it off your face, go ahead and use cold water to close your pores. So go ahead and you saturate your towel in cold water and then pat it across your face like I am doing here. So, and you can wet the towel multiple times to make sure it get back cold so that you can make sure you're putting a cold compress on your face to close those pores. This is my favorite part, guys. Uh, bye.